All right, welcome back to the drive through boys and girls, sponsored by the deli. Hungry? Stop by the deli. Make yourself a capicola and salami sandwich on Harvest Cheddar with Dijon mustard. This is uh, 10 8. This is 1 8. Numbers 5 A and B, okay? First thing I've got to make sure you listen to is that when you look this answer up in the back of the book, you may not get the same answer you got. That doesn't mean that you're wrong. The directions state to write a concluding statement for each of the following chains of reasons, okay? There's more than one concluding statement that can be true. So uh, here's a decent one from part A. A implies B, but B implies F. So one correct answer would be that A implies what? F. But there is a better one, or a longer one, if you will, not necessarily better. If you started at, at D and went to not C, that would take you down from not C to A, which would take you from A to B, and take you from B to F. That's a huge chain. Where do we start at again? We started at D. So we could say that D implies, remember, D to not C, not C to A, A to B, B to F. D implies F. That would also be a correct answer, okay? These are just statements that are given to you. They don't represent anything, okay? They're just letters. All right, so let's check out Part B, what is one thing that we could say results from Part B? Well, S goes to R and R goes to Q. So what could we say? S implies Q. Okay. Now I want to give you the answer that the book gives you, and I want you to think about where it comes from. S implies not P. Anyone have an idea where that came from? Alejandro? So, since S equals Q, well, since S implies, wait. S takes you to Q. So S takes you to R, R takes you to Q. Yep, and then since P takes you to not Q, then you could say that negative, well, you could say that negative R takes you to negative to not Q. Uh, I don't think so. S goes to Q. Okay, so what did we learn? You're on the right track. What did we learn about this thing called the contrapositive? You can switch the order if you do what, Laura? It's that word negate. If you negate both sides, right? That's what the contrapositive is. So, since this is true, then we could also say that Q implies what? Not P. That is the contrapositive. Remember, we learned the contrapositive before the chain rule. Okay? So, we can go from S to R, from R to Q, and then from Q to not P. So that is how they came up with that one. Boom!